Frank. How are you? Are you well? Welcome to Gary's Barbershop. Guys, this is Frank Levy, who is uh, the mental health charity Inspires mindfulness expert. So, how are you? Couldn't be better. Okay, couldn't be better. How's you? Do you know, I'm good too, mate. I'm good too. Just trying to collect my thoughts after all the, 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 the hectic, sort of crazy Christmas period. So, but yes, I'm good. I'm good. Sounds like you need time to pause. Well, I definitely do need time to pause. My interpretation of mindfulness would be Vuja Day. Have you ever heard of Deja Vu? Of course. Have you ever heard of Deja Vu? <laughs> I like it. So you take Deja Vu, right? You know, that sense we've been here before. Yeah. Turn it on its head, Vuja Day. We haven't been here before. No. This is the first time we're sitting here, you know. In the, in the barbershop together like this. It's called beginner's mind. In the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities. In the expert's mind, there are a few. So what happens in through mindfulness practice is we develop an inquiring, inquisitive mind, a curiosity, where we meet this moment and greet this moment for the first time. For anybody, you know, that's maybe on their own, that's feeling lonely, that's feeling sort of out on the out on the edge, mm. what would you say? I would say to anybody out there on the edge, you know, to connect with someone, right? join a group if they can. If not, tag someone, phone someone. Uh, you know, get involved within the community. And you know, it's about you know, participating. Talk to somebody. Big time. Just talk to somebody. If somebody says to you, what about you? Instead of the standard answer of, I am dead on, just go, well, you know, I'm, I'm not too good today. Go back some uh, 30 years, you know, I was in contact with a great guy called Ian McCreeve and Ian McCreeve introduced me to the work of a great man called Basil Van Der Kock who wrote a book which I'd recommend for people to read, it's called The Body Keeps the Score and what our good friend Basil Van Der Kock says is that mindfulness practice is one of the best forms of self-care to be honest, you know, way back then, you know, I heard people talking about, you know, bring it into the here and I, be present but I never really knew how to do that because it was always a way off in the future or it was always sort of like ruminating about the past. I was everywhere but like, you know, right here, right now. So I was introduced to mindfulness practice and guess what? I find as what's described as the art of falling awake. I realized and understood then, you know, that it wasn't the story that I told myself. Falling awake? Falling awake. Oh, the art of falling awake, yeah. Because a lot of times we're going about, you know, in a, in a daydream, you know, on autopilot, we're going from A to E without seeing B, C, or D. Yeah. You with me? Absolutely. Um, so with mindfulness practice, you know, we start to come to our senses, we start to bring the mind home, and then we start to experience, you know, this moment for the first time. The great John Kabat-Zinn, who would be sort of the daddy of mindfulness in the West, he would say that mindfulness practice is a particular way of paying attention to what's happening right here, right now, in a non-judgmental way. Yeah. And pausing. And pausing. And taking time to reflect and to focus on ourselves, to like ourselves, to perhaps even love ourselves, mm. appreciate the positive good stuff that maybe we've done in our lives. And that would enable us then to care for other people and be compassionate for other people. Would that, would that be? Something spot on, very spot on. Yeah. And you know, if we haven't got compassion for ourselves, that's where it starts. You know, it's an inside job. So, you know, for me, mindfulness practice, you know, through practicing self care, then we find, you know, that we become more thoughtful, more kind, more considerate. And when you mentioned our pause, which I thought was great, it allows us time to breathe. You know, just to take that breath and to connect with this moment. Mm -hmm. 
So in, in a nutshell, Frank, pause, relax, focus, talk to somebody else, get out into the fresh air, get in the bay, kick a ball about, go and play with the grandkids and just be with other people and just generally learn how to love yourself. Excellent. Frank, that was, that was great, man. Good to see you. That was great. <laughs> <laughs>